Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can add a sliding announcement bar for your Shopify store. This video is specific for impulse theme. If you have any other theme, then still you can use this code. And if you stuck somewhere, then you can ask me. I will help you out in the, in solving the issue. Uh, I have already uploaded the videos in the playlist, so you can check the playlist. Maybe some of the videos will match with your theme. So let's follow some steps to implement this specific feature into your store. So firstly, you should go to your Shopify store dashboard. Here you can see that I have installed impulse theme. Here it has the preview, like uh, you can go to the home page and we don't have any kind of uh, announcement bar right now. The first thing is that you should uh, click on these three dots and uh, create the duplicate of this theme so that later on if you have any problem with that you could able to roll it back to its original version. Again you should click on these three dots click on edit code and here we will be having some files and folders. So the first step is like you should go to the sections click on add a new section and right here sliding dash announcement dash bar click on done. So this will create a new section for you. Just remove the code which is inside of it. And then after I have attached the code which you need to copy and paste. I have added the link below in the description. Just download the code and then copy this complete code and paste it right here. Once you are pasting all these codes, then you should click on save. Once you are pasting the code, then we need to include this specific code into the header. So for that, you should go to the layout then click on theme.liquid and right here you will see somewhere header. Here we go. Now you can see that we have header and just above this div, I mean in the beginning of, you can say that inside of this body tag, you, you can include it here. Here I'm going to write section, then inside the columns, sliding dash announcement dash bar. Make sure that this spelling should match with this file name. Once you are hovering over it, then it should show this arrow. That means this sliding announcement bar section is correct. Then you should click on save the changes. Once the changes are saved, then you should go to the dashboard again. And here you need to click on customize. On the left, you will see an announcement bar tab. You should click on that. And right here, you should uh, see some settings which are like show, so it will actually show an announcement bar on the top. But before that, you should add some messages. Click on add message. And I'm going to write inside of this text box like uh, like buy to get one free. And if you want, you can actually add a link here. For example, you want a specific product to link with it. For example, this one. So automatically when someone is clicking on this uh, buy to get one free, then this product will be appearing over there once clicked on that. Another message is like free shipping worldwide. Again, another message, first example, premium products only. And now you should again go to announcement bar. And here we have like autoplay. That means it will slide from left to right automatically. Again, we have another option which is hide arrows on desktop. For example, you are not interested to keep these arrows uh, in the desktop view. So you can actually click on it and it will automatically hide. And maybe if you want, you can show it. And if you wanted to hide in case of your mobile view, for example, in mobile view, you are not interested to keep these arrows. So automatically these arrows will be hidden. All right, but for now, I am interested to keep these arrows. Then after you can also change the font size like medium, we have small and we have large. So if you want, you can increase it, you can keep it medium. And then we also have the direction like horizontal and vertical. For now, for example, I am going to change the background color to black and text color to white and then click on save. Once the changes are saved, if I am seeing the preview of it, here we go. Now you can see that on the top we have an announcement bar. If you are clicking on it, then automatically this is sliding and this is also sliding after five seconds so here we have like a number of seconds you can also decrease it to three seconds i mean 3000 milliseconds means three seconds so automatically this will slide from right to left and another option is like direction is uh, vertical for example you are interested to keep it sliding vertically so you can also do that and that i am refreshing it again and if you are clicking here, you can see that we, this is going from bottom to top or top to bottom. All right. 
so this is how you can actually change the direction of it another thing is like adjust slide space of desktop so uh, you can see like these are the arrows and if I am increasing it its space so you can see that on the right hand side we have some space and these arrows are just uh, coming near to this uh, text message all right so you can actually reduce the space or increase the space according to your need in the same way we have for mobile version so automatically for mobile version also this will increase or decrease so you can change all these things uh, according to your need this is how you can actually implement this specific thing for your store if you have any problem with that you can ask me i will help you in that thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel Thank you once again. See you in the next video.